safe. Don't worry about it's the safe. shop. You don't know shit about shop. Mopar fam, I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. It's Friday. I just got home. I'm trying to throw this video together to give everybody a heads up on all the cool stuff that we just changed. Here we go. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've put a video up. Matter of fact, I think the last video I put up was a video where I almost got shot. Like, no lie. Uh, someone was popping shots over at my shop. That uh, I opened up my own business recently. And, man, someone a couple streets over was popping off shots. And, yeah, all I can say is uh, if you click back and find that video, you will hear just how close those rounds were coming. And, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I pooped myself a little bit. But, anywho, we're gonna go over the video today. Basically, this video is gonna kinda give you a rundown of a lot of the big things we just changed, why we changed them, um, what we're doing, and what to expect in the future, and also welcome the new tuner to the channel, and kinda give you a rundown on the experience I've had with my new tuner. And that's going to be FRP, Flying Ryan Performance. I know a lot of you guys have probably heard of him. Definitely a big name in the Mopar community. And a name that's been around for quite a while. So as a lot of you guys know, I've been talking about converting Frostbite over to E85 for a long time. Well, we finally did it. Um, Frostbite is currently, right now, actually will start and run on E85. Uh, we've been doing some of the logging on it to get it all dialed in. But it is converted completely over to E85. Um, we completely upgraded the fuel system, changed a lot of stuff. We have a lot of cool parts uh, to be able to run the E85. And some of the parts are recently new to the market. Um, and they are absolutely awesome. Um, I'm going to be having videos on that stuff here soon. And exactly what I had to do to install this. Um, just kind of a quick rundown. We completely removed the factory fuel tank, chunked it in a trash can. Um, we're running a 15-gallon Speedmaster fuel cell in the bed. Uh, we're running the drop-in fuel cell pump module from Holly, uh, which, is, which has twin 450 pumps. So it has two 450 pumps, uh, the, the Walboro 450 pumps. And then we're running some Spalab Auto Parts uh, fuel line. We're running an 8 a.m. for the feed and a 6 a.m. for the return. We're running a snow performance uh, fuel regulator, which is awesome. And one of their new multi-pump fuel relay module uh, that can actually run up to three fuel pumps, which is awesome. Um, we're only running two. That's all we really need. And uh, we're also running new injectors, uh, basically doubled the injectors. We did have 650s. Now we're running the uh, FIC 1200 cc's. Um, so we got enough fuel system to run like 12, 1300 horsepower on E85. So we're good with fuel system now. Um, again, I'll have videos on all this stuff, where I mounted it, how I did it, what I needed, all that stuff. So stay tuned. Um, I've just been so busy with work, plus my own business I opened up that I just, to be able to get this stuff done and installed, and going i just haven't had time to kind of video it at the same time um so we've just been hammering what time i do have to try to get this stuff installed and now i'm gonna go back and do the videos on 
what I had to do um, to get it done. So bear with me, it's coming. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me about the Holly High Ram, how I installed that, what did I need to uh, make it work on the truck. That video is coming up very soon as well. I'll be putting something together for you guys for that. Um, so stay tuned on that one. I know I've, I've been getting a lot of questions on that one. Biggest thing about this video though, like I said, was just trying to give you that update, what, we, what we've been doing. Um, and then one of the other things that's huge is we changed tuners. Um, again, we're using FRP, Flying Ryan Performance. Um, he's tuning Frostbite right now. Frostbite is currently running his tuning. Um, also, we've swapped over Project Storm, which is the 2012 Ram 1500 running the Torque Storm Supercharger, basically a bone stock truck. It's a four x four. We've, you know, we got lots of videos on that truck. That truck, we just loaded a tune in yesterday from uh, Flying Ryan. So that truck is now tuned by him and uh, we're logging that truck. We're still logging Frostbite, getting everything dialed in. And then Project Sub-Zero will also be tuned by Flying Ryan. As you've seen, we purchased a Tomahawk cam kit from FRP for Project Sub-Zero, which is going to be the Dakota Hemi swap build. That's going to be an NA setup. That truck will be tuned by him. And probably my son's Dakota RT also eventually will probably have a tune by him as well uh, when we get it finished. We just got the transmission uh, finished on that one. We just put new heads on it. Now we're just kind of putting it back together. Um, again, we've had one Sunday a week if the weather's good to be able to work on my truck plus my son's truck. So time has not been our best friend lately. We just, you know, work has been crazy. It's just been crazy, guys. That is the biggest thing. We've changed tuners and we changed fuel. We went to E85. Now, the reason we changed tuners, you know, a lot of people's probably asked, wondering why. Um, honestly, it's just, it just makes more sense and it's easier. Um, FRP, he tunes you know, not just the Hemi platform, but he also tunes Dakota platform. Um, I believe he even uh, tunes like in the SRT 10s, uh, like the Rams and the Viper motors. Um, very knowledgeable. And for everything going on with the channel, with the Dakotas, plus the Hemi platforms, it just makes sense to have one tuner that can do everything. So it's kind of like a total package. And uh, instead of going here for this and then over here for that, like I said, it's just kind of like, it's just easier. It makes everything easier to just get it all from one, from one place. And uh, FRP is definitely the man for that. Uh, the other reason for the big change was, you know, a lot of people know I was currently tuned with Jay Green. I also was tuned with uh, Justin at Dr. Differential and Speed Shop. Um, you know, I considered, I considered running, um, you know, I talked to Jay a lot. We're, you know, we still talk a lot. And actually, I hit him up on the E85, um, but he didn't want to tune E85 remotely. He just, it's just something he doesn't like to do. Um, and, I, and I get it. Sometimes it can be kind of aggravating to, you know, tune E85 and get everything swapped over and everything working right. And remote tuning is definitely probably not the easiest, you know, give or take on the people you deal with. You know, if you do your logging right and everything, it can go pretty smooth. Um, but I get it. And uh, he just don't like tuning E85 remotely, and I respect that. And, uh, you know, if he does it for one person, everybody's going to want it. And I totally understand that situation. So uh, when I talked to FRP, I told him I wanted to do E85, and it wasn't even a problem. It wasn't a question, no hesitation at all. He said, sure, fine, let's do it. Um, and he does it, you know, I'm not the only one running E85. So that was another big thing for me, as I said, it just makes more sense. Let's just have one tuner for everything and be done with it. Um, and not only that, the system and the business and just the whole process from FRP is honestly just a really, really good business. It's very well organized and everything is just really easy. Um, you know, he has a great website. He sells parts on there. You can get cam kits. You can get parts for cams to do, uh, you know, installs yourself. He's got uh, drop-in piston kits for the Hemi platform. He's got Magnum parts, cams, you know, for your 318, 360, 5259 guys. Um, I believe he even has some like SRT10 parts up there um, and tuning as well. And 
one of the biggest things I want to mention is his tuning process is is again it's very well organized. When you when you purchase his tuning on on his website, he's got a sheet that you fill out, and it's a very detailed sheet. You know, he asks for fuel injector part numbers, tire size, cam information, head information, literally everything. Um, you know, so if you have a pretty stock build, you don't really have to fill out a whole lot. But if you have, you know, a lot of stuff on this, a lot of stuff on your build, you can fill this stuff out and it makes things so much easier. Um, you know, it might be a little hassle to fill it out, but when you get the first tune from you, when you get the first tune from them, it's pretty, pretty right on, man. Like, you know, my speedometer worked right out of the gate with frostbite on the first tune. Um, you know, the tire size was dead on, like it was reading accurate. The truck started, it ran, it idled. Um, I didn't have any dying issues, you know. It, it was pretty spot on. We just gotta get the fueling and everything good for the top, you know, for wide open throttle, get everything exactly where we want it so we can really start ripping on it. But yeah, I just wanna definitely give, uh, you know, a big thumbs up to FRP. The website is, I think, fantastic. He's got a lot of products. So it kind of makes it like a one-stop shop. I mean, he's really got his business to where it's almost a one-stop shop. You know, you can get your tuning, your parts, you know, piston kits and drop-ins and stuff, you know, right there. You don't have to like search around and go multiple places to get a lot of stuff. He has it right there ready to roll. Um, not only that, again, very nice guy, very knowledgeable, knows his stuff, and will definitely tune a lot of vehicles out there. Um, that some people may turn away. So if you want my opinion, so far, I am absolutely happy with everything that we are getting right now. Um, it's just a very easy process. And this is not coming from someone that is getting this stuff for free. By no means, I paid for the tuning for Frostbite. I paid for the tuning for uh, Project Storm. And when we get ready for the tuning on Project Sub-Zero, We'll be paying for that as well. So this is a paying customer telling you exactly what the experience is so far. And uh, like I said, two thumbs up so far for the whole thing and for all the efforts going into it from Ryan. Um, again, I'm super stoked. And I can't wait to actually hit the track and get it, get this thing going. Um, man, I can tell you, the other day when I, when I was running a log for him, just, you know, putting frostbite along down the highway and just some back roads, just getting some cruising data. Whoa, man, it feels completely different right now. And uh, just the cruising and the low wind torque right now, just on the E85 fuel, I can tell you it just, it feels like frostbite literally wants to just fly. I mean, you just crack the throttle a little bit and it, man, it just like, it feels like it wants to just, take off like a rocket so i can't wait till we can actually start really hammering on it and uh definitely get it to the track so yes that's gonna be awesome like i said it's gonna be a process a lot of work but nothing comes easy that's for sure <laughs> i see my son my little one's back there playing on the trailer i don't know if you can see his head back there he likes messing with me when i'm doing videos <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, guys, that's it, man. Um, like I said, thanks for support on the channel. You guys are awesome as always. Um, stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to have all these videos popping up here real soon. I'm going to be working on a lot of videos this Sunday. If the weather's good, I'm hoping to finish up some, you know, tidy up some things on Frostbite. Go out, maybe get some footage of it. Um, I got a drone. I bought a drone the other day and not cheap i've never had a drone but i was playing with that thing the other day and it's awesome we're gonna have some awesome stuff uh with that drone i'm gonna do some cool things with that drone so stay tuned with that um yeah hopefully i don't crash it into a tree or anything but it's pretty fell safe i was actually surprised how easy it is to fly um i ended up getting the dj mini 2 drone so uh, if you're interested, check it out. DJ Mini 2 drone. Um, like I said, I've never even flown one, but that thing is so easy to fly. But anyway, we got a drone. We're going to do some cool things with the drone as far as videos and some content. 
Um, so heck yeah, guys, stay tuned. As always, stay safe out there. Uh, Flying Ryan, you the man. Thanks for all the help on the trucks. And uh, we'll see you guys. Take care.